Look at these gigantic beef ribs. Isn't this pretty insane? Man, it's quite a show back here in the kitchen. The mesquite charcoal makes all the difference in the taste. I'm so happy. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Steve from Rockstar Eater coming to you with another rockin' episode. And today I am out here in Long Beach and I think this might be the first time I've done an episode in the city, so this is gonna be pretty cool. I am here at Greenfield Churrascaria. This is a Brazilian steakhouse that also happens to be the highest rated all-you-can-eat buffet in town. They have 15 choices of meats, they have salad bar, they have drinks, they have desserts. So please stick all the way to the end of this episode because you don't want to miss this amazing Brazilian barbecue steakhouse buffet experience that you can find in the city of Long Beach. And also if you're new to this channel, take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell because I post these food and travel videos weekly you don't want to miss out on. So go ahead, do that right now. And in the meantime, I'm going to be heading into this restaurant and I am going to be eating a lot of food. So stay tuned. Guys, this restaurant is so big. It really is an attraction. I think it's the biggest Brazilian steakhouse that I've ever been to. So yes, they have the all-you-can-eat meats, they have the salad bar, they have a good wine list. Brazilian steak, fine dining at its best. All right guys, so this is Jesus. He's the manager here at this very popular restaurant. So he's gonna explain to us everything that's at this buffet line. What do we got here? So we have our traditional Brazilian white rice, very traditional in Brazil to start with the churrasco dining experience. We have the feijoada, traditional from Brazil as well. Yep, I've had that. And we also have our popular chicken stroganoff, very famous in Brazil, traditional authentic hot dishes. We also have our popular mashed potato with mozzarella cheese. And our most popular is our coconut fish. So we have our spinach, we have our green salad, we have our dressings, popular dressings, Italian. Italian and, and ranch. Ranch, okay. And then we also have our traditional Caesar salad. Caesar salad. And we have our beet salad, freshly made. Beet Cap salad? Yes, Capri salad, freshly made. We also have our cucumber. We have our jalapenos. Palmito, very popular salad in Brazil. Heart of palm, right? Yes, heart of palm, palmito. And we have our traditional habanero onions mm -hmm. and our vinagrech from Brazil. Uh, we have some salami, some hams, cold hams there. We have our, some olives, some pepper, jack, some uh, gouda, gorgonzola, and Prosberg from this is Swiss. We have our traditional prosciutto. We have shrimp every dinner time. Cocktail. Have, yes, cocktail shrimp. Got it. We also have our ceviche, which is mango, our traditional creamy corn salad, garbanzo salad. This and is the garbanzo? That's the garbanzo salad, okay. freshly made, and also the Greek, Greek salad. Greek salad. This is our popular broccoli salad, potato salad, and our freshly made our recipe, pesto. And we Ooh. also have our beautiful fresh cut Parmigiano. That's pretty big. We have our freshly made croutons to go along with your salads. And we have some traditional fresh cut sliced bread. And all this is the bread too, right? All this is the bread too. Yikes. We change Ooh. it all the time. We have with jalapeno, or we have freshly cut French or sourdough. All right, so now we're in the kitchen. This is where all the meat action is at, right? This is where the action begins. We have our traditional cut strike tip right over here. Beautiful. We also have our traditional beef ribs. We cook them for three hours. We also have our traditional ribeye. We like to skewer it this way so we can have a juicier taste and cuts. Ooh, beef brisket. I've never seen this in a Brazilian steakhouse before. Oh man, look at all those tomatoes on top of it. Is a top sirloin picanha. Oh, we like calling it here the golden picanha because they say we have the best picanha. Seriously? In, out of all the churrascarias. Wow, can't wait to try it. Yes, we operate with mesquite charcoal. It gives a better flavor to all the meats. We don't use gas like other churrascarias. 
So during lunchtime, which I believe is from 11 to 3, it's $37.95. And then from 3 on is dinner, $65.95. So it's not a cheap Brazilian restaurant. It's more on the fine dining side. But I heard the food here is so worth it. And they have a wine list here, which is very extensive. I'm not gonna be drinking wine tonight, but if you guys like wine, looks like they got you all covered. And so it begins. The black bean stew with the meat or feijoada, one of my favorite Brazilian foods. Fish with coconut sauce. First time trying this one. And if you guys like soda, you definitely need to get the Guarania, which is the popular Brazilian soda that you'll find in Brazilian restaurants. Ah, it's like so fruity. Goes good with the barbecue meats. And did I mention that this is one of very few, it might be the only Brazilian steakhouse that has an English, like English American name. I mean, have you ever heard of a non-Portuguese named Brazilian steakhouse? And this one comes with their meal. It is their house special house recipe fried bananas, which is deep fried and it has uh, sugar and cinnamon. This one I heard is popular if you go to Rio de Janeiro. So, oh, this is very authentic. Oh, specialty. I almost feel like I'm eating a dessert in some ways because it's so sweet and cinnamony. Even though it's a buffet and you can have at it at that buffet bar, I would recommend that you take it kind of easy and really focus on the meats because that's really where you're gonna get your money's worth. But still, that food up there looks so amazing that I can't help it. That chicken stroganoff, one of my favorite things to get. I can just eat that over rice and just have that as my meal. That's how much I like it and it's really good here. Oh, so that one is if you like bean stew. Now here's another thing that I wish I can focus more on if I didn't have so much of the meats coming out in just a bit. But you definitely need your salads too. Like this one, I always get it all the time, the caprice salad. If you guys have never had this before, you should. And this also comes with the meal. To the left, that is the Malagueta peppers, which I heard is really spicy, yikes. But this one I like to the right, that's the chimichurri sauce. And I heard that this is the way they do it in Brazil. So instead of those cards, they have this. So green means uh, you wanna continue and red means you wanna pause or you wanna end out your meal. So hopefully you stay on the green for a long time to get your money's worth. All right, that is my first cut. Picanha, and I heard they make some of the best picanha here. Like, no joking. And this one is the tri-tip, one of my favorites too. Oh, very nice. I don't really have any particular preference on what meat I start off with, but if picanha comes first, I'm not gonna complain. You taste like that crispy, smoky flavor of it, which I always like with picanha. And did I also mention that the fat outside gives it so much flavor? Tri-tip, also very good steak, I would say. And I noticed that the saltiness level is pretty on point. It's not overly salty. I would say it's like it has a nice, subtle, salty flavor to it, which is pretty good. I wonder how hot this Malagueta pepper is. I've never had it before. I'll try it right now. Oh, 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 it's pretty hot. Okay, maybe that's the last one I'm gonna have. And this one is the cinnamon pineapple. Wow, that's a pretty big knife. Oh yeah, that's so good. So you heard it right. These are pineapples that's been seasoned with cinnamon and I think sugar as well, brown sugar. Oh wow. That is so good. That's like one of the smokiest, sweetest pineapples that I've had in a Brazilian restaurant. So they would usually give this to you as kind of um, a dessert at the end when all the meats are done. But even if it comes out second or third, I'll still take it. It's so sweet. I like it. Seriously, the cinnamon pineapple is like one of my favorite things to get. 
Wow, that's the ribeye. Man. All right, look at that big piece of ribeye. Hmm, very nice. Depending on what part you get, you might get some fattier parts, which I think you might want to take a little easy on. But I like to kind of eat a little bit of that fat because I think that that fat adds lots of flavor, like rich flavor to the whole thing. It's almost like eating bone marrow on top of the beef. I came on kind of a quieter night, but I heard that at times, especially the weekend, it gets super busy here. They've even had parties of up to 350 people at this restaurant. Isn't that insane? Whoa, I don't think I've seen this big boy before in a Brazilian steakhouse. This is a beef brisket. I don't remember if I've had brisket in a Brazilian steakhouse, but I've never had it where they presented it like that. That is, that's a show stealer. That's like a surprise. I, I really didn't expect that. Oh, it's good. It's very soft and it pulls apart really easily where you don't really need a knife to really cut that whole thing if it's done right. And they give you even pieces of tomato to add that tomato flavor acidity to the beef, which I think is very fitting. Good combination. Oh, it's really good. I really wish that they had that brisket in other Brazilian steakhouses. I mean, the way they make it here, it's really one of the standout items here. All right, moving on to some chicken hearts. Also a Brazilian classic. Very good. And that one is bacon wrapped uh, turkey. I don't think I've had turkey before in a Brazilian steakhouse. That's pretty cool. Okay, chicken hearts, here we go. Hmm, crunchy and smoky too. Actually, everything's been smoky because they use the mesquite charcoal. Extremely tender. And bacon is crispy, it's cooked perfectly. Hmm, it's a pretty good dish. So that's another one of the things that makes Greenfield different is that they do have some of these items that I don't find in other Brazilian steakhouses. And it keeps on coming. We got chicken drumsticks and the pork sausage. Let's do it. Sausage is one of those things I like to always get with my Brazilian meals. Mmm, yeah. I think Brazilian steakhouses are one of the very few times I eat sausages because I just like the way they make them. It's so soft inside and it has like that smoky, crispy texture outside. Just fabulous. Look how big this is. Am I supposed to just eat it like a piece of fried chicken or something? Okay, I can do that. It's definitely moist when you bite into it. There's a lot of flavor and it just tastes so good. So yes, chicken here is pretty good too. Not my go-to in a Brazilian steakhouse because you know I like to go with the steaks, but still the chicken is, it's tasty. They also have this one too. As if the beef brisket was not enough, they have this huge beef rib. I'll just cut it off just like that and then right on your plate, just like that. That's pretty interesting. These beef ribs are cooked to about medium rare, I think. First ever time I've had beef ribs that are medium rare. It's very soft. Like when you bite into it, it definitely tastes like you're eating a medium rare beef rib. Is that a thing? I'm not really sure, but they do it here. And ending off with style. Oh yeah, Brazilian flan dessert, always the way to go. And I heard this is the musket item here. And that is called the cafecino, which is like a Brazilian espresso. First time trying this. So this flan is not kind of like the creamier version of flan that I've had before. I would say that this one is more eggy, but the sweetness level is, is perfect. And when you have something like this, the cafecito, I think it's supposed to add like a good balance to the sweetness. Wow. Yeah, that is pretty strong. Wow. It's almost like drinking a shot of coffee vodka or something. This Brazilian steakhouse is, is definitely very good. And I think it's unique in that they offer 
some foods here that I've not seen in other Brazilian steakhouses, whether it's casual or upscale, like the turkey, as well as the fried bananas, like in the way they make it here, and even like that whole brisket that they bring out. It's pretty crazy. Ah, yeah, so I recommend it. If you are here in Long Beach and you're looking for a steakhouse, Brazilian style, all you can eat, definitely come to Greenfield. It's a little bit off of downtown Long Beach, but not too far though. You can definitely make the drive over. I mean, you're gonna have some really nice food in a very big and very comfortable, very classy environment. Good for groups as well as good for intimate occasions. So all around, big thumbs up. All right guys, so before I close out this episode, I wanna give a shout out once again to the manager, Jesus. Very awesome guy. So when you come to this restaurant, Tell him and the staff that you saw this episode and he's going to give you something very special. What is that, Jesus? Uh, I will be introducing you to a beverage traditional from Brazil called Guarana as you come in for dining for dinner. All right, get it, because it's a really good soda. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this episode. You know what to do. Give me a like, give me a subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next food adventure.